Hey, hey, everybody. <laughs> Wine lovers. Hey, hey. Stalkers. People who just find us funny. Welcome back. Funny looking. Whatever. At least they're here. Winding away with Corey and Ray. Corey, Ray. And if you don't know that by now, you should watch some of the 80 or 90 episodes on Winding Away with Corey and Ray. How YouTube many do TV. we have at this point? Have you ever counted? Um, It's listed. on. You should go check out our YouTube channel because on the top it says how many videos we have in there. At the top? See, I only scroll down. No, right when you go to the YouTube channel, the very top talks about our show and it says how many videos. I think there's like 80 or so. Maybe 90. And that doesn't even include the ones from Princeton. No doesn't so you No, those are on vimeo because we can't we can't add them onto youtube because they're not technically our property but we're close to 100 oh with the ones from princeton we have at least 120 130 shows yeah so you should know who we are so next that's what time, we're saying next time we have a bad storm or something like that why not just watch them all Okay. Just sit there and, be and then from kill the, the battery on your phone by and watching like, us. Hi, welcome. Like wine? <laughs> now we're like... <laughs> and you can watch that progression from the beginning yes. till... Of how great we finally got to our childhood dining room. We used to sit over there. <laughs> yeah, we've evolved. <laughs> evolved. I mean, who knows what we were doing. We used to have a studio. We did. We used to use equipment. We had a director. <laughs> we had real guests. Is this therapy or is this... <laughs> yeah. Anywho. Thanks so... for joining because we're going to talk about some wine. <laughs> now, finally, um, that's now what that you're looking for. Now that cleared some things off our chest. <laughs> so, Ray, what would you bring today? Well, today's entry is sort of a rediscovered bottle. In 2016, I was lucky enough to go to a dinner featuring the wines of a Garnacha-loving, wine-making Spaniard named Jorge Ordonez. Oh, I've heard this story. And Jorge uh, makes wines that are very affordable to, you know, much higher-end more sought after wines, but he gives equal passion to everything he does. He honestly is one, one of the most passionate people I've ever met. And some of the guys that I was with knew him from before and said that he's really got like a stick in his craw about things like Apothic Red and Menage a Trois and these indescript California blends that don't even tell you what the grapes are and you know so this is a ten dollar bottle when I say ten dollars meaning it costs you ten dollars that Jorge makes and it's fantastic and for the money everyone I give this to is just like how is this only a 10.99 bottle and I'm like I know you know um, but he... So it's considered like a red blend, if you will? No, it's it's like a Rioja. It's 100% Graciano. But from Rioja, you also see some Tempranillo. Um, he's really, really well known for making Garnachas. Um, but this is Graciano. But, uh, now, how hard is this to find? It's not. And, like, the, the whole reason I'm saying I rediscovered it is because I've carried this for a while, but... I mean, I have like 8,000 wines in my store. Like, after a while, this kind of just... So, Rio got lost, Madre. Got lost by the wayside there. But, um... Rio Madre, Rioja. I had a customer who was in a Spanish sort of kick. And they were, you know, just grabbing bottles from Spain for a little while. And he wanted... He challenged me and said, I want you to find something inexpensive. Because he had been drinking bottles that were like in the 20s you know but he's like give me something that's not expensive but it's still going to be good so i kind of stepped back and i like looked at the section real quick and then i remembered the rio madre from um ordonia so i gave him this and this guy must have bought a case and a half over the next like week 
because he couldn't get over how good it was. And um, I said, 14.5% alcohol. I said, I got to start handing this out again. I, like, I kind of forgot about it. Um, but anyway, when we were at that dinner, and we had, there was a big map of Spain and Jorge's pointing at the different areas that he gets grapes from. And this is the juice. It's so delicious from this area. And I tried to put this in my different wine. And he's going on and on. And the one guy said, was like, just like they do with menage a trois, right, Jorge? And he would get, oh, you don't know what that shit is. You don't know what you're drinking. They put such bullshit in their bottles. And it was funny. We were drunk. We were at a wine dinner. And, um, but I was very impressed by the man's passion. He was already in his 60s and had been making wine for years. And he ran his wine dinner and he did the presentation. And he pointed to the map that showed you everything like it, it just it's it was you know so it's really his it was humorous true love it was humorous and inspiring to watch a man that passionate talk about it and uh so anyway so this is you know one of the wines uh that he makes it smells delicious and i mean you know we've talked about this a hundred times on this show you know if if you really want to get something bang for your buck good money you know we always say, go go to Europe, you know, go to Spain, Portugal, Italy, France. That's where you're going to. And I mean, if ever there was a great example of just that, it's well, this one. If here. you can't find Rio Madre near you um, in one of the liquor stores in the Spanish section, again, you can reach out, get in touch with Ray. Um, you want mom take, to a, take a trip to Cranford and uh, see for yourself what you're missing. I mean, it's it's light. It's not heavy. Think Pinot Noir, but maybe. See, she likes this one. It was much better than the throat burning one the last time. Um, Mama likes Spain more than Chile. Um, but it's just, it's got good flavor. It's got a nice finish. And I mean, you, you spend like $2.50 a glass. You are not going to find a better wine for $2.50. Can't beat it. Can't beat it. Not with a stick. So, Spanish wine lovers, this one's for you. If you never really had Spanish wine, now's the time. And 2024. We're trying new things. Right. 2024, Whining Away with Corrine Ray Challenge. We're going to try, try new, new wines things. And like the video. Right. And compliment people. And tell people nice things. Right? Hey, after a couple glasses of wine, I give out a lot of compliments. I bet you do. Usually to the bartender. And on that note, we're going to say goodbye for now. Until next time, cheers to good wine. Cheers to good health. And cheers to a fantastic life with new adventures. 2024. Get some more. <laughs>